In this video, we're going to be looking at some stud finders. Uh, this one is a Black & Decker one. Uh, bullseye. Uh, it also has a laser uh, leveler. Uh, this doesn't work. Uh, it's Parts are falling out of it. It's missing this piece. Um, it's been dropped too many times. And uh, it just doesn't really work. Uh, this one has probably a lot of the same problems. Uh, this is from 1997. At least it's copyright that date. Uh, it is probably that old. Um, so that's well over 20 years. Um, you know, these are 5 or $10. So replacing them won't be that big of a deal. Yeah, I'll show you what happens. And that's what it does. It's supposed to stop beeping at some point, but it doesn't. It just This one just continues to beep. Uh, this one, uh, some lights come on and then it doesn't do anything. Uh, it just goes bleep bleep and then uh, kind of power disconnects. Uh, this button's also stuck. It's supposed to pop back, but it doesn't. It's binding up. Um, the laser also doesn't work. Uh, well, maybe it does. Let me see. No, no laser. Okay, so let's open them up. Um, let me look in there to see what kind of screws we need. Good old Phillips. So these are typically used when you're going to drill something into the wall. Uh, is finding the wooden stud in there by detecting the metal nails that go into it. So there should just be a, a little magnet in there and a sensor. It's probably a, some kind of Hall effect sensor or something like that. But problem is when you drop them, they just everything gets broken. Um, sounds like they wouldn't break, but there are moving parts inside, and those moving parts are the detector parts. And let's see, I'm not sure how old this one is, but it's, I got this as a kit uh, with some other Black & Decker tools. Pretty sure you can buy them standalone, but I wouldn't have bought one with the laser if I was buying it on my own. Okay, and that just blew up. Okay, uh, actually there's the magnet right there. Okay, let me pull up the chair. Okay, so uh, I'm not going to keep this. Okay, so here's the laser assemblies. Um, I have some adjustment nuts here, I guess, to give it the balance. It's pretty nice. Some thread locker on there to hold that in. So, yeah, it's got a really nice balance. Um, this does have a little weight to it as well. And that's the laser assembly. Uh, in here there's this magnet and then this magnet. Uh, and there should be a little detector in it. Basically when they touch That's the indication that it's shorted out. Okay, and then a very simple little control board. And this is just kind of glued in there, I guess. Okay, and it's got two boards and a little ribbon cable between them. 
Um, okay, a little. Actually, this is the detector. What is the point of that then? Hmm. I thought this was the detector, but it's not. The detector is down here at the bottom. Ah, I see. I see. So those just kind of keep it in the middle, I guess. Put a little friction on it so it doesn't wobble back and forth too much. That seems overly complicated. Okay, and this little board has that switch, a button, another switch, and a buzzer, and a little tree of lights. Um, it's pretty basic. Uh, there's not a lot of ICs in there. There is some adjuster switch, but um, that's the detector. I just use this rubber rubber cements on everything. Huh. Okay, there we go. Oh, let's go deeper. Okay. Here's the board revision. Mm, pretty straightforward. Yeah, it does have one tunable. They put it in the middle, so they're not really expecting you to do anything with it. Okay, that's about all for that one. Here's the, the snap buttons. Um, let's see. Okay, and moving on to this one. This one doesn't have any screws. This pops apart. Well, now it's acting like it does. glued together. Okay. Hmm. It's telling me there's a screw right in here. Yep. Found them. Oh, this one's super cheap. You see these at Harbor Freight and stuff for a couple dollars. Um, unfortunately, I needed one today. And I didn't have one. Okay, so I got a little piezoelectric speaker that's rusty for some reason. Uh, the one switcher knob, same little tree of lights, same ribbon cable, uh, probably a lot of the same chips and components. Uh, the difference in this one is the detector is going to be a little different. doesn't have anything. Um, hmm. Not really sure how that's detecting anything. Yeah, unless 
is be the, the metal it goes in between these two plates. And you can detect the, uh, I guess just the magnetic charge or the electrical charge from the small magnet that shoots through there. Not real sure how all that works. It's got the same little adapter adjustment knob. Yeah, it would have been nice to fix this, but it's really not worth it. A couple dollars, you can get a brand new one that's got much more life to give. I'm trying to spend any time working on it. Well, that's about it for this video. Uh, again, these are just stud finders. Um, get them at your local hardware store or online. Uh, some of them have different features, uh, like this one. The other one had a laser. Uh, level. Um, some of them are built into like um, tape measures and things like that. Um, Alright, well, thanks for watching.